in the martial arts world, Ido Portal might have a reputation for uh, playing touch butt in the park. But going beyond that, he's had some pretty good insights into some stuff. And look, I, I think that the direction that he's gone with his practice and one of the reasons that I haven't really been closely following him for several years now is the fact that he's gone too far in the direction of specializing in non-specialization, which like, I understand what his argument is. I just don't agree that it's a fruitful path to take. Uh, and maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. And maybe I don't get it. I don't know. But I'm just saying, uh, you know, let's leave him dogs lie. He's, I'm not, I'm not worried about it. But, you know, had a phrase that he was popping around for a while. I mean, we're talking almost 10 years ago now. He may still be saying it. I, I haven't really looked at it in a while. Uh, but he, he, at least for a while, was saying, isolate, integrate, improvise. And he was talking, of course, about his generalized movement practice. But man, do I think that that applies in martial arts such a big time. Right? We can talk about learning theory and all that. But there is a certain value to being able to pull out a specific piece. And we don't even have to be talking about a single technique. We could be talking about a, a component of a technique, right? We could be talking about a very small thing that needs to be tweaked or whatever. And we spend some time developing that one thing. But the thing is, if you only isolate, and this is what we see with a lot of like static drilling and whatnot, because even though static drilling often involves like compound movements and skills, because it's so divorced from the actual context of a conflict uh, that it, it still fundamentally doesn't do anything, right? So the isolation part is important because it really, really helps us like dig in and refine a thing that needs work. But then you have the integrate part and the integrate part is so critical because that means putting it back into the mix of things. Now, integration usually still means that you're doing stuff in a fairly controlled manner. It means that you're putting it into the, the linking and compounding of the total skill set, but maybe not under all of the real world pressures that would happen if you were doing it in the field, right? And so integration is a really, really good thing. And that's where things like maybe not even sparring, right? Because sparring is so you know, kind of off the cuff random, but a lot of even like the, you know, uh, let, let's call them uh, sparring type drills and whatnot, where you're actually still focusing on something. That's an integration type idea, right? So you, you take from that isolated practice and you start trying to feed it back into the bigger puzzle where it's linked with other things. And that is super powerful, right? Because it allows you to get this, this, this better feel for where, where that thing fits in and how, you can feed into those transitions and and navigate those things um, because a uh, great Thomas Sowell quote right there are no solutions there are only trade-offs most of the time when you take something out of out of context um, you lose you know you, you denature right you lose some of um, some of the mojo that, that that makes it work right so even though you're refining it you're you're losing some of the mojo and then you put it back in and you got to kind of refine that that mojo too right so the integration step is really really important as well. And then the improvised portion, man, is that great, right? The improvised portion of it is exactly what we're talking about in martial arts. The improvised portion is, can you do this? And I'm talking specifically to martial arts, right? Can you do this under pressure in the full mix of whatever your task is, right? Whether you're talking something as stripped down as boxing or Greco-Roman wrestling, it doesn't get much more stripped down than that. Um, or if you're talking about like kickboxing, MMA, no holds bar grappling, um, but putting things back into the mix and doing it where you have to be able to find this stuff off the cuff, um, not scripted and no, no guarantee that, that your opponent or opponents, depending on the format, um, will even feed you the circumstances for you to make use of the skill Man, is that important, right? So isolate, integrate, improvise, right? This is Ido Portal's thing. I don't know if he got it from somebody else. Uh, maybe he did, maybe he didn't. I don't know. But that's where I heard it from. And man, I think that is such a great, uh, let's just call it a great model 
you know, it's, I mean, it's barely even a model, right? It's just kind of like a, like a, a motto, <laughs> right? That, uh, that gives you kind of like a basic, vague, real fuzzy out of focus roadmap for what we should be doing. It's such a great idea. And so, you know, next time you're out training, right, is like, especially, you know, if you, if you take notes, um, or, or video things or whatever, um, find something that you need work on, right? Or if you're teaching that your students need to work on, right? And really kind of pull that all out of the mix and focus on that just for a little bit, right? You don't necessarily, depending on what the skill is and all that, right? You may need more time, you may need less time, but isolate it down and really kind of get it in and then find ways to at least progressively uh, reintegrate it into the fuller mix. And right, maybe you do that in a stepwise manner where you add complexity, complexity, complexity until you get to the full thing and then try to bring it out during sparring or during competition. Um, and man, that could be a really, really, really powerful way to add to your practice. Um, you know, this is not necessarily some, you know, mind blowing groundbreaking thing. It's more just like a nice little outline of the steps that we should be taking to make this stuff work. Uh, so I'm going to leave this here before I start ranting and I will talk to you guys later. Good journey. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, share, check us out on our other socials, and please head over to blacksunboxing.com to get a little more info, including how to contact us. Furthermore, if you are in the Phoenix area, please feel free to stop in, say hi, join in for a class, whatever. Also, if you ever see us cite sources um, or just for additional content, please check out our Substack. That is where we put all of the sources we use in our videos and is a major part of this. Plus it serves as a membership platform for long distance learning and for people who would like to support us but aren't local. Uh, we would greatly appreciate if you signed up, even just the free membership it helps us out a lot. All right, I will see you guys in the next video. Good journey.